Beck and this is Madison and Erin and we're going to make hidden heart cake today. So Erin if you can spray this and Madison will cut some hearts out of a cake that we already made. And we've already got some hearts cut out because we need enough to go the whole length of the loaf pan. And then we're going to pour just a little bit of batter into the bottom of the pan in a contrasting color. We're using white and chocolate. And just spread it in. And then Erin and Maddie will help me put the hearts in. We're going to put them in upside down because then, because they hold a little bit better instead of trying to put just the, the point down. So we'll set the hearts in right next to each other, really close. And you want to try to keep them in a, in a line so that all of the angles are matching because then when you cut this, it'll have the effect that you want it to have. So we'll get the hearts in all the way. And if you get any crumbs into the batter, don't worry about it. That turns out just fine. And it helps to chill the cake before you try to cut it because it makes cutting out the shapes easier. So now we have our hearts all in a line. And we're going to pour more batter over the top. It doesn't have to cover all the way because the cake, the, the second batter is going to rise over the top. And since we put the hearts in upside down, we're going to depan this so that the smooth, very angular part of the bottom of the pan is on the top because that'll help us make the glaze look much neater. And then we'll put that in the oven. So we're going to bake it at 250 for 15 minutes and then we'll turn the oven up to 325 and bake it for another 15 minutes before we test to see if it's done. So Madison is going to make a raspberry coulis or a raspberry sauce to put on the plate and it's a really simple but thing to do but it has a really fancy outcome. So we're just taking a package of frozen sweetened raspberries and pouring them into a blender. You could use a Cuisinart too if you have that. And then we'll put the cover on. And just give that a quick blend. Puree. And we'll just puree that until it's down to a sauce and there's no large pieces. That looks good. And then we're going to put it into a bowl with a strainer over it. So that we can strain out all the seeds because those aren't as nice to eat. That looks good. And then you can just take a wooden spoon or a spatula and just stir it around until you get all of the sauce out. And you could do this with strawberries or blueberries too. Whatever kind of fruit you like. I like the red because it contrasts with our white and chocolate cake. And you have our sauce. And then to finish, we're just going to spoon a little bit of raspberry sauce onto the plate, kind of on one side, and then take one of our finished pieces, put it right in the middle, sprinkle a few berries on top, making sure not to cover our heart so we can see how that looks. And then we'll put it 